Fantastic. We're on. Hi. How are we all? Hello. Welcome. How are we doing? Oh, this is amazing. So, right. So, firstly, I'm going to wait for everybody just to come on. So, we've got, I think, 58 so far. So, we're just going to wait a couple of more minutes, wait for a few people to come on. But what I want to say is, I'm so sorry for yesterday. What you know, I might be able to teach Pilates, I can teach yoga, but actually being technically minded is something that I'm not very good at. <laughs> so whatever happened, I apologise and welcome you to um, this morning's yoga. So what I'm going to do it is, basically I'm just going to wait a few minutes for everybody to come on, for everybody to say hi, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. Um, I'm going to slow my voice down slightly throughout this broadcast, just because I fully understand that not everybody can speak um, very good English. Um, so I'm going to try and slow everything down slightly, just so you understand me. We love you, no worries. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, that's so lovely of you. Oh, it's okay. Oh, thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, Baruch Hotel, so welcome. So I've been given this opportunity to go live for the Baruch Hotel group. And um, I really wanted to do this because last year I had the most one in three of their amazing hotels. Um, and I met some really lovely, lovely hotel guests last year. Um, and it was my highlight of last year, actually, in, in all honesty. I loved every single minute. I loved meeting people from all over the world, from Germany, from Russia, Moscow, Sweden, you name it, I met them. And it was just so lovely just to have such an array of people coming to me in my classes. So, um, so yeah, so I welcome you to my home studio. So I'm just going to move my camera around slightly just so you can see me. Perfect. So, perfect. So I'm going to come down a little bit just so you can see me. So this is my home studio. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a yoga class this morning. So I'm going to talk you through a basic yoga class. We're going to do it a little bit more fluid. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a fluid class. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. Um, so any questions that you've got for me as your yoga teacher this morning, please feel free to leave them in the comments below um, or direct message me. I'm open. I'm not doing anything. Um, I also want to just um, say something to all of you out there. Um, what I've understood is by being in this world pandemic, of the COVID-19 virus. It's actually created something now that we as a world have all got in common with each other. So basically we've got this awful disease that's traveling around the world at a really rapid pace, um, but we've got that in common. So it's so true, it doesn't discriminate against nationality, sexuality, male, female, gender, anything like that. So literally, we've all got this in, in common. I'm a new starter, so easy. I will go easy on you, I promise. Just, just enjoy it. So yeah, so um, I just want to wish you all the best because um, I'm sure we're all in a situation where we might be in lockdown. Uh, we might not be able to go to our lovely hotels for our holidays this year, or I don't think we will. We can't get on an aeroplane and fly. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that, just to say that we're all in it together. And this is why I've agreed to do it for um, the amazing hotel group, which is the Baruch Hotel Group. So, so shall we get started? We're about 11.35. Not sure how many we've got on your side, um, but I can see loads of people coming through. So, uh, so we'll just get cracking up. Now, I need to know that you can see me because when I come back here, I need to just lift this up slightly. Slightly, slightly, slightly. Hi, Ian. Hello, welcome. Hi Ian, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Stay safe. You guys stay safe as well. Um, it's so important, especially this time of year, that you stay safe, you stay inside, you stay healthy, and we exercise as well. So, shall we do it? Shall we just crack on? Let's go for it. So, bring yourself down onto the floor. So, what I want you to do is just create, just bring yourself into a really lovely kneeling position. So what I want you to do is kneel lightly on your mat. And I want you to just relax your shoulders back for me. So just relax everything back. So now, in this moment in time, 
you may be quite anxious, you may be quite stressed with everything that we've got going on. So we're going to spend this next couple of minutes thinking about breathing in through the nose and then exhaling back through the nose. So we're just going to settle, we're just going to ground ourselves down towards the floor. So I'm coming in a kneeling position because we're going to start moving from this position very shortly. So place the hand, place the palm on the other palm, relax your shoulders back, close your eyes, and now bring your attention to breath. So start to take an inhalation through the nose, fill up the top, the middle, the bottom of the lung, let the rib cage start to expand with the inhalation. And then breathe back out through the nose, Then we go again. So inhale through the nose. And then slowly exhale all the way back through the nose. Give me five more breaths. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Let the rib cage start to shift. It's called the lateral breathing pattern or the thoracic breath. Then exhale back through the nose. And then you've got two more. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale back through the nose. So just ground yourself to the floor, settle into this posture. For those of you that have never done yoga before, just enjoy it. Come with me, enjoy the experience of the flow. Right, let's move it, let's crack on. So shall we do it? So hold it here now, open up your eyes. You're gonna to inhale to the sky, breathe in. And then you exhale, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lift you to the sky. And then exhale, release. We go again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifts. And then exhale, we fall. Just give me one more, so smile, breathe in. Exhale, and then go again. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, now we start to move. We come onto our knees. Inhale, and then exhale, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, we lift, and then exhale, we fall. Go again, so we're just lifting up. Inhale to the sky, exhale, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, clasp the hand behind your back and draw the scapula together, look up towards the sky. So in this position, really open up the front of the body, gaze all the way up towards the sky, push the sternum, the bony part of the chest forward towards me. Smile, hold it here, big deep breaths, release the arms, let the breath flow freely, inhale, and then you exhale. Inhale, lifts. And then you exhale before. You've got one more. Inhale, so we just start to move with the music, with the flow of the breath. Inhale, lifts. And then exhale. You're going to draw the scapula together again for the last time. Now look up towards the sky. Pull the shoulder blades back. Now from here, you're going to hip hinge forward. So you're going to dive the forehead down to the floor, the fingertips up towards the sky. We hold it here. So just rummage around in this posture. Now from here guys, inhale, drag you up, breathe in. And then exhale before. Inhale this time, the hands come towards me. So we settle here. So now with this music being in the background, pretend you're in that sea view, pretend you're on the beach. So really push your fingertips forward. So you really pull in your open up your back. Now you're gonna open, inhale, open the chest, Open the centre, and then we lift, good. And then breathe back down. So we're just mobilising the upper body. You're going to inhale into a lower back extension, and then exhale, we fall. You go one more, breathe in. You've got it, exhale. Bring the fingers towards me. So you're going to really hold it here. So now retract the chin in the upper chest, push the back to the back of the room. So you're holding it in this position, guys. Now you're going to move the arms, but you're going to keep the hips facing forward. You're going to do a mid-back rotation. 
and then you're going to bring it back to centre. We go again, change sides, hold it here, and then bring it back to centre. Reach up, and then we lift down. Now from here, you're going to stride the right leg forward. So smile, come towards me. So you're going to feel the stretch through the hip flexor on the opposite leg. Now, level one, you keep the knee on the floor and then place the hand and then you do a thoracic rotation. Level two, the back knee lifts. You hold it here, you come into the high lunge posture. The hand comes down and you twist to the sky. So now we stay here for a short while. Use your breath, so keep the inhalation coming through the nose. Exhale back through the mouth. Release that. Release the back knee down to the floor if it's lifted. Take this leg and just drop it out to the side. So you've got an external rotation through that hip joint. Just let the breath flow freely. Smile and just keep moving. Perfect. Are you ready? Bring it back in. You're going to then push back and then centralise the whole of your body. Inhale. For level two, lift the back knee, hold. So now you're going to pull this shoulder back, you're going to depress this right scapula into the middle part of the back. You stay here. Now from here guys, are we ready to move? You place the hand to the floor, you whip that front leg away into high plank position, you drop the knees, you push back into balasana, which is the child's pose position. The forehead comes down to the floor and you move around it so you create more of a passive movement. So this is the child's pose position. It is a rest pose. So side profile, you come all the way here. So the forehead goes down towards the floor. The heel of the hands push back to encourage the sit bones back to the heels of your feet. So from this position, guys, you're going to flip back now into your first downward facing dog. And now you're going to tread through the floor. So you're going to extend and flex through the knee joint. Perfect. So you're just going to keep this going. So you come forward, you go back. You come forward, you go back. Now keep that going. You come forward and back. Now hold it still. Now you come over into high plank position. Stay here, smile at me. Knees come down to the floor. Push back into Malasana or child's pose. Now from here guys, you're gonna slowly, slowly push back into your downward facing dog. You hold the downward facing dog still. Take your right leg towards the sky. Stride your right foot to the inside of your hand. You hold it here. So we just start moving a little bit more. We stay here. Bring the opposite leg to the front. You're going to exhale into this forward fold position. Bring your thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lifts. And then exhale, we fall. So now, inhale, breathe into the sky. And then exhale, you're going to forward fold all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, step back to high plank. Hold it there. Now you're going to drop the knees to the floor. You're going to push back into child's pose or malasana. Let the forehead drop to the floor. So push the heel of the hands into the floor. Push the sit bones back towards the heels of the feet. Now push back into your downward facing dog. So hold the downward facing dog still. Now breathe into it. So really focus on your breath. So now guys, take your opposite leg up towards the sky. Stride it in between your hands towards me. Smile. If you feel like it's going a little bit too quick, you can always slow it down. Just take your time, but just enjoy it. Now bring the opposite leg to the front of the mat. Exhale into the forward fold position. So hold it here. Now bring the thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lift you to the sky. And then exhale, we fall. 
Now hold it here, spinal rotation. Are you feeling a little bit more warmer? So just take it from one side to the other, release your vertebrae. Let me just move this slightly. Good, so just a little bit perfect, that's better. Good. So now we're going into the sun salutation sequence. So what I want you to do is step to the front of your mat. For those of you that are unsure of the sun salutation, please watch the first one and then join in. Bring the hands to the centre. So inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down towards the floor. Inhale, fill up the lungs, create tabletop back. Exhale, step back to high plank position. Now drop your knees to the floor. Drop your chest to the floor. Now from here, slowly come up into small up face or cobra. Hold it here. Now push back into child's pose. Stay here. From this position, you're going to push back into your downward facing dog. So hold it here. Now guys, walk your feet in towards your hands until you've got the forward fold in the front of the mat. Thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lift you to that sky. And then exhale before. That is level one. Level two coming up. Everybody joining with me. Let's go. Inhale to the sky. Salute the sun. Exhale, you go to the forward fold all the way down to the floor. Inhale, you lift up slightly. Exhale, step back into high plank. Now keep the knees off the floor if you wish. You can then slowly lower into Chaturanga to the floor. Pull forward into up face or cobra. Hold it here. Now push back into your child's pose position. Rest the forehead to the floor. From here, push back into your downward facing dog. Stay here. Now instead of walking, you step into your hands. You close the fold at the front of the mat. You bring the thumbs to sternum, you inhale to the sky. You exhale, thumbs to sternum. Level three, coming up. Inhale, join in. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lifts us. Exhale, you step or jump straight down. You then come onto the front foot, pull into up face or cobra. Now flip back, look in between your legs. Go back into your down facing dog. Now you can step, walk or jump into your hands. Close the fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, lift you to stand. And then exhale, we fall. Perfect. Give me one more. Go. Inhale, lift you to the sky. Exhale. Inhale, step or jump straight down to the floor. Pull forward into up face. Now flip back into down face. Hold it here. Now you walk, you step or jump into your hands. You forward fold the clothes. Then you inhale, you lift to stand. And then exhale forward. Shoulder bow. How are we feeling? Are we all good? Are we all okay? We're doing well. Right, we're now going to balance. So level one, take this leg. Level one here, level two here, level three comes here. So the tree pose, you've got external rotation through the hip joint. You relax your shoulders, you bring the thumbs to sternum. You create the Anjali Mudra, which is a, um, which is a hand gesture and it creates energy from left to right, right to left. We hold it here, we settle into the tree position. Now we smile if you wish to. We let the breath flow freely. So just let the breath flow in through the nose and out through the mouth. Oh, this is amazing. I can't believe how many of you are on from different countries. This is so, so cool. Brilliant, hold it still. Ooh, now, you're gonna inhale, the tree expands, and we hold it here. So you're gonna open up the upper body, relax the shoulders. 
you've got the external rotation still going on, you're pushing the inner thigh against the foot, the foot goes against the inner thigh, and we relax into it. Hold it still, breathe. Now we relax the arms down, you bring the leg forward, you place the leg back down, you've got two sun salutations. Thumbs to sternum, the Anjali Mudra, inhale to the sky. Let's go, lower back extension. Exhale, you're going to forward fold all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lifts. Exhale, steps or jumps, and then pulls forward into up face. Flip back into down face. Step or jump into your hands. Close the fold at the front of the mat. Inhale, lifts you to stand. Exhale, forward. You've got one more without me saying anything. I find that very challenging, by the way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Turn back. Flip back. change sides. So focus on your twisting. So it's something that's not moving to help with your balanced posture. So bring the foot to the bottom ankle, build it, or build it slightly higher. So we hold it here, you poise, you relax. Now, the foot is the root of the trees. You build the trees up and then we lift up and we open up the branches. We relax the shoulders, the scapula slowly depresses in the upper back. You spread the feet, you start to pay attention to the foot that's on the floor, you ground the foot that's on the floor, from the ball of the foot all the way through to the heel. Hold it nice and still. For those of you, of, you, of you that have trained with me out in Turkey, just imagine you're doing it in front of the sea. The sea waves are crashing. The sun is shining. Release the arms. Bring the leg up. You've got one sun salutation, guys. Let's go. Inhale, lift you to the sky. Exhale, we're going to drop into that forward fold position. Inhale. Exhale, takes us down to the floor, pulls us into up face. Now flip back into your down face, stay here for five breaths. So just ease yourself, let the breath flow freely. Now you can move around in this position if you wish to, or if you wish to create a more of an active posture, you hold it still. You bring the heels towards the floor. <laughs> From here guys, you flex the knees, you step or jump into your hands, you forward fold at the front of the mat. Thumbs come to sternum, you inhale, lift you to stand. Exhale, forward. Shake off. How are we doing? Are we all okay? Are we all still with each other? Are we still good? Perfect. So, we change the mat round. So I'm going to change my mat into the opposite direction. So we go in here. So I'm just changing foot placement slightly. So we hold it here. I'm gonna turn this music up a little bit as well. So shall we do it? So from this position, guys, you take your feet nice and wide. You're gonna sink the pelvis down towards the floor. And we're going to a posture which is called horse. So in this position, what you've got is you've got an external rotation through your hip joint and you're going to sink the pelvis to the floor. Your knee should be in alignment with the second or maybe the third toes, depending on how you're feeling. Now we're going to start shifting and using your breath. So just let the breath flow freely in this position. So use it, just move around a little bit if you wish to. Now you're going to inhale, and then you exhale. Inhale, and now we do inhale,
watch. Warrior two, let's go. So this is your first warrior position. So for those that have never, ever done this before, what I would like you to do is you take your gaze to your index finger, your hips and your chest come straight up towards me. You sink the pelvis down towards the floor and then you gaze here, we hold it in this position. So we're not going to stay here long, it's just going to create a beautiful flow. So you're going to inhale, we're going to rise and fall, we lift, pull back. You exhale, we sink a little bit deeper, we hold it still, perfect. So just settle into it, rise and fall, let the breath flow freely. And then you exhale into the floor, hold. Now, from here, we're going to straighten that front leg, straighten, hold. Now we're going to glide. We're going to lock and load. So we're now in the trikonasana. So from this position here, both legs remain straight. Now this is the easy posture, or if you wish to lower, lower, keeping the upper body nice and high, you can do entirely up to you. The key for this is not to let this front shoulder come forward, so pull it back slightly. Now, flex this front knee, bend, and then we just cascade over into that beautiful reverse sun warrior. So we hold it here. So now sink further in this leg, stay with me guys, stay with me. Now here, the arm locks against the inner thigh, the top arm lifts to the sky, and now we create strength. So now, too high, we're getting lower. Smile, sink, hold. Now look up to the sky, hold it here. Now the front leg will be shaking slightly, that is totally normal. Just use it and let the breath hold you in this position and let the breath just flow freely. Now from here, are you ready? You come all the way back here. Settle down. Inhale. change direction. So we hold it here. So the warrior two is to the other side of the room. The pelvis sinks towards the floor. Your back foot is grounded to the floor. The knee tracks over the second or third toe. We sink. Are you ready? We pull back. We glide. We lock and load the trick and asana. Now, Feel the stretch here, feel the stretch here. If you wish, you take it deeper. If not, you stay higher. Look up to the sky. Now the front knee flexes, and then you just cascade into that beautiful reverse some warrior. And hold it here. And then from here, you sink further down. You lock, load, and deep, yes. So now you should be sweating slightly. Smile, yoga is for enjoyment. It is to actually smile, it's to get so much from it. It's to get everything that you can possibly do to uplift yourself, to work your mind, to work your body. Now from here you cascade, you inhale, lifts. You exhale. You inhale, and then you release. One more, inhale, you exhale, you open, we release. One more, you inhale, you exhale, push the air away, you open up the upper body, and then we settle, extend, and just slowly drop into the back dog position. So let the head drop to the floor, let the whole body just drape to the floor. If you wish to place your hands on the floor, you can do, 
but ultimately just release the back, release the hamstring. So guys, from here, you need to look to me. You take one hand behind your ankle, you lift the opposite arm towards the ceiling. Now the stretch goes in the inner thigh of the opposite leg. And then we switch. So you change sides, so you've got a really lovely mid-back rotation and stretch through your inner thigh. Now from here you flex the knees, place the hands on your thighs and you slowly roll all the way up, sink, breathe in and then breathe out and then just bring your legs together, just shake off how we're feeling. So now we're going to just flow from one side to the other, from one side to the other and just generate this beautiful flow of movement. Okay, we're all good. Right. So guys, are we ready? Set position. So we hold it here, we settle in this position. Stay with me. Just relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Are you ready? What we two? Let's go. Pull back. Glide. Lock and load. Yes. Reverse. Strength position. Load it. Sink. Hold. Good. Right, shall we do it? Let's 
that we sink the pelvis to the floor, you've got external rotation through the hips. We relax the shoulders back, the arms sit down here. So now you can be as dramatic as you wish in my classes. And then we're just going to bring everything down. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. One, two, go. Pull back. Nine, lock and load. Good. Reverse. You've got it. Strength. To the other side. Go. Hold. Pull back. Nine. From here, reverse. You're going to load it. You're going to lock it. Sink. Here. So you're going to lift up, your arms are going to hold it here. Now take this palm and wrap it towards that side of the room. Cross the opposite arm over and then you're going to pull back and hold. So now just reach up towards the sky. Ground the sit bones towards the floor. So you try to create two ranges. You're pushing up and pushing down to the ground. Now you flex and extend through those elbow joints. So you lower, and then you lift, you lower, 
and then you lift. Now from here guys, all you're doing is twisting to this side of the room. So we hold, and then you're gonna release the lock, you're gonna load this forearm against the outer thigh, take the top arm, twist to the back of the room. Hold. Now the arm that's to the back of the room, that comes forward. You hold it here. This arm goes underneath, and then you close and you hold it here. So side profile. We lift and lower. We go rise and fall. Two more. So we rise and then four. Give me one more. We rise. Four, and stay here, close your eyes, let the breath flow freely. Well, I almost feel like moving around to this. So hold it still. And then release. Oh, and shake off. That is such a beautiful shoulder and back release. Now, whichever legs cross over, change your foot placement to the opposite side. Just so you're evening yourself up. Inhale, lifts. Take this palm, turn it to that side of the room, and then wrap it here. Hold. So we go, flex, extend. So you're letting the shoulder blades just relax in the upper back. As you move through this range of movement, you're really working through the shoulders. And again, just give me one more. Now hold it here. Now we twist, we twist. Four more. Now lock, load it, twist to the back of the room. Stay here. So this forearm is locked against this outer thigh, just to give you a lever so you can move, maneuver to the back of the room. Now this arm that's at the back comes forward. This arm wraps under and you lock and load it. Now we move. We inhale. We exhale. We inhale. We exhale. We inhale. We exhale. Now hold it still. Breathe. Now release, shoulder bone, are you ready? Breathe in, palms to me, slowly, slowly keep the head in between the hands, come down, come down, and rest. Now push back, so just hold it here in this position. So retract the chin on your upper chest, stretch through your back. Hold it nice and still in this position here. We stay here. Now we slowly, slowly drag the hands into the body, stacking the vertebrae, letting the head lift us to the sky. The arms come down by the side. You're going to take an inhalation through the nose and then back out through the nose. Now you're going to go for the second mudra. You're the Gaha mudra, placing the thumb on the front finger. This is such a powerful mudra for focus, for concentration. You're going to extend through the elbow joint. The palms are up to receive, if you wish to receive. If you don't feel like doing that, just turn the palms back down. Entirely up to you. Now, just think about the bony part of the bum just sitting in towards the floor. Letting the crown of the head just lift up, elongating through that vertebrae. So we're going to finish, it's only a 45 minute class, so we're going to finish with three deep breaths. And these breaths are to tap into your parasympathetic nervous system. It's to kick out the fight and flight. It's to really, really start to calm you down and to give you tools to get through this situation that we're all in. So you're going to breathe in through the nose now and then let the belly expand towards me. So take a big inhalation. And then the breath comes back out through the mouth. <sighs> Two. 
two more. Inhale. Exhale. hands to the center of the chest. Look out. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Well done team. Really, really, really good. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to give you a little bit of everything um, for you to enjoy. Um, I wanted to give you quite a bit of physical practice. I wanted to focus on two styles of breath, the lateral breath, the thoracic breath, and the diaphragmical breath to really start to tap into the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps calm, re-regulate the whole of your body. So guys, this was on my Instagram post. Ah, post. Oh, thank you, Rosemary, um, as well as um, putting it out to all the Baruch Hotel groups. So guys in the Baruch Hotel groups, I'm really sorry that you can't go to your normal destination at this moment in time. However, um, I've really enjoyed this opportunity to come to you. I'm not actually on the beach as your fitness superstar or whatever, but I'm here. I'm here live in this position here. So, um, so I want you all to stay safe. We're all in it together. This COVID-19 has made something connect with all of us throughout the whole world. We've got this together as one. And um, we're in it together. And yes, um, thank ah. And um, yeah, so don't be on your own. Um, so stay safe. And if you've got any questions, please message me or message the team at the Baru Hotel. And I am back on, yes, yeah, see you on Friday. I'm back on Friday. This is amazing. Um, and yeah, feel free to follow me on my Instagram page if you want to, because I'll always shove loads of different information on there for you and stuff like that. So yeah, well done. Thank you very much. And you might stay safe. See you again. See you tomorrow. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, someone saying thank you to the Brute Hotel group. So yeah, if any questions, just feel free. Just um, pop them over to me. Do whatever you need to do. And um, yeah, well done, guys. Now, I'm not quite sure how to turn this off. <laughs>